Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray and rock god Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hook up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with rock god Rick Maxa. Mark Wish from Pacific Edge. Our Santa and Santa's helpers are all here. We have that celebrity uh, giant panel in the back there uh, taking names. And it's our Christmas spectacular giving away 13 different prizes here. And uh, Ricky... Give us a lowdown. You got it, man. Well, as you heard at the beginning of the show, Dana War Sport Fishing, a pair of three-quarter day passes to go fish with our great friends up at Dana Wharf. We've got three, count them, three individual Cousins Lure package that consists of three pack of tuna clones and three of their very nice marlin jigs, different shapes and different sizes. So three very cool packs. Thanks to our friends at Cousins. A half-day trip for two aboard the Daily Double at a Point Loma Sport Fishing, including the tackle rental. A three-quarter day trip aboard the San Diego at a Sea Forest Sport Fishing. An Aftco Alejos aluminum belt and a pair of Aftco long range short pump gloves. Really cool prize there. A Rapala Williamson lure package, including uh, diving lures, casting lures, Rapala uh, Williamson trolling jigs. A very, very cool prize there. Maui Jim sunglasses, the World Cup frame in the marlin color with a neutral gray lens. A sea equalizer, barrel trauma release tool, courtesy of Craig up at NOAA. Very cool rockfish descending device there. A 12-pack of the Promar Deception Jigs. It's a mix of three different colors and six sizes. Very cool prize pack. A Cousins 80L Rod. Beautiful rod. Thanks to our friends up at Cousins. An extremely high-end, top-of-the-line Cousins rod. And then the grand prize, a brand-new Shimano Torium 16 HGA reel and an accompanying eight foot medium Terramar rod. That's one of the brand new Terramars, brand new Torium. Those things are so awesome. Oh, what man. an awesome Shimano package that is. No doubt. Thanks to our friends Mark Mills and the Grant Gang up at Shimano. Really appreciate that grand prize. Quite the grand prize this year. <laughs> You're not kidding, dude. Yeah. Rod and reel combo. Yeah, very no cool. kidding. And uh, time for the catch report. You got it, man. It's time to find out what's biting, which today is sponsored in part by Terrafin Sea Surface Temperature Charts. Terrafin charts give you the latest in water conditions and they help you catch more fish and save fuel. Terrafin charts are helpful all year round to find the best water conditions. Check out the new and improved Terrafin Mobile for your Apple or Android device. You can take Terrafin with you everywhere you go, all for the same low price. And for more information, check Terrafin.com. And we're going to start, obviously, this time right now. We're going to start on the phones with Marcos, who's calling her from C4 Sport Fishing. What's up, Marcos? Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? Great. Good morning. Hey, Marcos. Well, a little slow start to the week there. We had some weather, kind of wiped out the first couple of days of the week. But since then, picked up a little bit on the half day. Definitely catching some good bottom fish on there, rockfish, lingcod. They've been picking away at those yellowtail. Right now, mostly in the morning, but they saw four on Wednesday. Didn't see any on Thursday. Saw five total fish yesterday. Back out there today. <clears throat> so definitely some nice conditions now. Now that the weather's calmed down, it's a very nice day out. They're out there fishing. The San Diego is back out right down to the island today to take a look around. So not much report yet, but hopefully with San Diego out there and the uh, half day consistently running there, we'll have some more for you next week. Definitely check the website, seaforthlanding.com. Half day is up there morning and afternoon. We have the three-quarter day schedule up there. San Diego will be running for two, three weeks here, and they're eventually going to do some boat work. They're going to need to do some upkeep on that boat. They've been running pretty consistently there. So make some reservations, seaforthlanding.com. You can give us a call at the office, 619-224-3383. More than help you guys get out there fishing and get some fish. Very cool that uh, still going on, Marcos, and it's been fun watching the uh, Facebook page from the new Seaforth of all the work that those guys are putting onto the boat. It's uh, going to be very impressive when that boat is 100% complete and up and running and going again. It'll definitely give them some flexibility and let them uh, do some you know, three-quarter day trips and <laughs> Yeah, and they've already had a great season. This is just making the boat better for sure. I I uh, I, I liked watching the comments. You know, putting it, putting in you know top of the line RSW fish holds on a half day boat. And you know somebody was joking around and said, well, what other half day boat catches wahoo and wahoo and tuna as well? So why not do it all the way? So pretty darn cool, yeah. Marcos. Well, we appreciate a great report as always. Lots of fun and glad to hear they're still biting at Seaforth. One more time, shoot us a phone number if somebody wants to come fishing with you. 
619-224-3383. If you want to talk to someone, if you want to go online and do it yourself, seaforthlanding.com. Awesome. Thanks, Marcos. Appreciate that. Have a Merry Christmas, and we'll look forward to talking to you next week. You too. I'll talk to you guys next Thanks, week. Thanks, Marcos. Right. Merry Christmas. Appreciate that. Captain Mark Wish with the Pacific Edge with the fishdope.com report. Give it to us. All right. We got a little bit of fish dope here. You know, it, it looks like, and it's hard to believe, I mean, here it is a few days before Christmas, but it looks like our offshore season is finally kind of winding down. You know, I sure. <laughs> you sure? I, you December nineteenth. Know, I, you know, I'm I'm hedging my bets here, and that's yeah. mostly because we've got some weather here today and tomorrow, and then a little break, and then it's More. looking like we're going to get quite a bit of weather around Christmas, and that might be the kind of the beginning of the you know the El Nino storm track, which has been you know kind of pushed back a little bit, but you know it looks like we're trending that way, so. To get out there and get your licks in when we get a few calm days. And, you know, Rockfish is getting to be uh, just about over. You know, I closed its first year, so I'm going to have to be checking that off for a little while. And then, uh, but that tuna fish, yeah, it looks like it's winding down. But uh, still might be a, a few around here. So I imagine some guys will be, be looking, this is, you know, in this next lull we get. And, you know, probably the best thing going on right now is some of that deep water yellowtail is starting to show up. Probably the, the best area, most consistent area, has been up in Santa Monica Bay. The, the Redondo boats and the Delray boats have been getting on that fish at, at uh, Rocky Point outside Rocky on those deeper ledges out there. And then out there on the short banks, there's uh, some of that nicer grade fish like we've seen the last couple winters. There's been a little bit around the uh, 150 zone outside Long Beach there. They're seeing some fish. It's not biting all that well, but it is around. And then the same same setup down there at that Box Canyon area. There, there's some fish in there. It's just not biting all that well. And I think part of that might have to do with the just extraordinary amount of red crab that's around. I mean, it's just everywhere. Catalina's loaded all up and down the beach is loaded. Wow. So there's no shortage of, of natural forage for those fish to Kind of you know, similar to last year, Very right? similar yeah. to last year, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, good. interestingly enough, there, there's a, a little bit of squid around. There's some over Catalina. There's been some squid up around Santa Barbara Island. Those marlin that were above Santa Barbara Island all summer were stuffed with squid. I mean, yeah. even in 75-degree water, they still go down and find some squid to eat. So, you know, there's lots of good natural forage around. And, you know, there's there's no reason for the fish to you know, to be leaving with the water temperatures holding up. So I think we're going to have an extraordinary winter in between storms. And we've seen that in other El Ninos. You know, the weather, the storm track gets rolling, the, the Pacific just gets all stirred up, and it's just, it's just tough to fish, even though conditions are good and the fish are around. So yeah. we're going to see. But, you know, no matter what, what an amazing year we've had. Yes. I mean, this one, I think, tops the charts, yeah. no doubt. No doubt about it. And, of course, fishdope.com, Danny and the gang over fishdope have been on top of it. You want to catch winter yellowtail, you want to go calico bass fishing you want to do whatever go catch tuna in the winter be the first guy to catch a marlin for 2016 fish January 1st, yeah. what a great christmas gift no doubt yeah right uh the no fantastic doubt. christmas pick 169 bucks but you get 20 bucks off by using the code hook up now one word small case all small lower case hook up now saves you 20 bucks on a gift membership to fishdope.com, 149 bucks for an entire year. What I thought, like you had mentioned before, what a cool thing to get for the guy who skiff that you go on. You know, you got a buddy that has a boat and you ride with him. What a cool thing you could get for him. You know, hey man, thanks for taking me fishing all year. Here's a, you know, here's a, a guide to help you catch fish yep. for the next year. You know, and you there don't you think that you're going to get in on on that too. What a what a cool gift. Fishdope.com, that's got the it, spot. Man. And now let's talk about Rock Cod Rick's big adventure, the Let's Talk Hookup Trip. 12:15 aboard the Royal Star. We didn't get a chance when we were doing the live broadcast a week ago. I can't believe that was just a week I know. ago. <laughs> In Cabo, well, which was a great broadcast, and thanks to all the people at SAC for making that possible, and all the great people in uh, in Los Cabos that were uh, a part of that great program. If you didn't hear that program, check out our archives. It's really, fun, really man. well that was done. A fun morning. Um, so it's on hookup1090.com. You go to our show archives page, and you click on last Saturday's dates. It's separated in a two hours you can listen on demand anywhere uh 724 on the archives and of course you can always stream live too and listen to download podcasts and all that stuff it's all available on our website and our show archives page there so tell us about the big trip it was fantastic you know we've been lucky enough to have this let's talk hookup trip on the royal star during this amount of time that kind of after thanksgiving big fish time has been running for a number of years and and over the 
you know, dozen or so years that we've been doing this, the trip has seen super high highs, and it's seen lows, and it's seen average, and it's seen crazy good wahoo, and all these different things. This one might be it. This might have been the best one that best we've one ever, ever done. I think so. Well, you know, by with combination, the load on Tuesday <laughs> yeah. when they were unloading all that fish, it was crazy, I would say dude. It was pretty darn hard to beat. <laughs> it was crazy. Just for number of quality big fish that we caught absolutely every day, every person, it was fantastic. We we got lucky and had a great round of weather. We had Captain Tim Ekstrom and, and Captain Paul were, were driving the trip, and uh, it was just – it was perfect. And every move they made was right. We had good fishing conditions. We had good bait conditions, and we had an awesome group of people. And, you know, whenever those three things combine, you can't help but have a great trip. And as far as the fishing goes, it was it was spectacular. I mean, it really, really was. Our I would call our average fish about 115 to 125 pounds. That was just like the stock average you'd even think about. What I'd never experienced was the volume of fish that we had over 150 pounds. Oh, like it was wow. just, you knew every single night when you went to bed that you were going to wake up in about five hours and probably be pulling on a fish that was 150 or better. I, every, wow. Every morning it was, we had very good big bait fishing, which was nice because you can fish with your heavy gear. You know, I was fishing a Talica 50. I was fishing 100, 130 pound, or 150 pound actually, Seaguar Premier. And, um, Every morning you knew that that salami was probably going to get a bite from a 150 or better. And and, mm-hmm. and if it didn't, you were almost like, what? What is this? What happened? <laughs> I caught a 90, and everybody would joke and laugh about it. You know, oh, it was just it, up was, for chunks. it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy the volume of you know 150s, 160s, 180s that we had. I mean, every I, I know that there's nobody on the boat that had a fish that was. I'm, I'm I, I don't know this for certain, but I'm sure nobody had one that was less than say 175. You know, I mean, like, everybody had shots of big ones. We had 14 200 pounders on the wow. boat. 14 over 200 yeah. pounds, wow. including uh, your uh, boat partner and amazing fisherman. <laughs> Uh, Neil Barber with the, the the jackpot fish. He had how many over two did Neil have? Uh, he had two over two, a two forty five and a two seventy seven. Oh my! God. And I'll give him credit on the two seventy seven. I'll give him credit on everything. The guy's a, a hell of a he's good an amazing angler. But what was cool about that was that one was earned. And Mark and I were bsing with it uh, about it during the show. Our fishing was so good in the mornings from like three a.m. till about nine o'clock. It was so good that you you knew you were going to get them. And then it was pretty damn good, kind of the same in the evening. Middle of the day was tough. It was, it was you know, scratch fishing. Any time you fished a bait, you had a shot at hooking one for sure. But it was so good in the morning, so good in the evenings, that a lot of people really did. They just kind of took the middle of the day off. You know, you'd fish a bait here or there. You'd hang out. You'd have a cold one. You'd fish another bait, but not really hardcore at it. Neil's a freaking maniac. I mean, he is a maniac that is not okay with not fishing. Yeah. And he's on the rail. <laughs> yes, always. And it was the reason he deserved it is because all of us, myself included, I was like taking a nap watching a movie in my stateroom. One of the guys like, hey, man, Neil's got a big one. It, they just made first call for lunch, and literally he was the only guy fishing. A long-range trip, he, you know, 90 feet of boat all to yourself. He was fishing a chunk in the middle of the day. And uh, dropped a chunk down, and within five minutes of, of pulling, you know, line off the reel, he had hooked a 277. Jeez. So hooked it on a chunk, uh, middle of the day, well earned. But it was just, it was a, yeah. there's so many cool stories like you that. You had how many over two? I had two over two, two, over two. with another one that was 194. Oh, no, yeah. couple of one, couple of 180s. Like a it was m- just, one meal away from two. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what we joke. Yeah, one, one, more, <laughs> one more salami, and uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he would have had it down. But wow. fantastic a... trip. Gear was great. Drew in the galley. I know we say it every year, but like you, you almost have to experience because the words aren't going to describe yeah. how good that trip went. It's just it was incredible. So if you want to go next year, there's actually still spots available. WorldStarSportFishing.com. I think the last I saw there were five spots left on. That I show. would just say this: if you think you want to go, come with us because it's a really good time and a really fun group of people. And, and it fills up and every there was, year. There, there was higher That's than fifty percent, yeah, re- renewal of just the guys that went, and that was that was the immediate ones, not even the ones that right. had to check their schedule. So it, it will fill out. I. I highly encourage you to come with us because it's a blast and a great group of guys. Great giveaways we had on the trip. It was oh, just, yeah. it was a blast. And our format changed. You know, at first it was a 10 day trip, and then Tim kind of, you know, realizing that we wanted to keep the options open of going down to the buffer zone if we need it. Several years ago, changed it to a 12 day, right. so that we had the flexibility of fishing the beach or the islands. And then with a the few years again going by and realizing, you know. Hey, we could do a lot better if we had a little bit more time of fishing down there. He changed it again into a 12-15, and I think that is the single best format you could ever have you, for a long-range You range fly trip. home from Cabo on day 12, and you're really lucky this time you flew home because <laughs> oh, those yeah. guys got a whipping coming home. 
you know, I think it was Bill Recker that told told me a long time ago. He said, "Never write home. <laughs> you, Never you, you write home." It. And this nice. was a classic <laughs> example. Was, dude. Yeah, I was, I was now, looking at passage weather when those guys were yeah. coming up. Oh, it was yeah. not nice. Not, it was not nice. Yeah. So, speaking of of riding home, uh, the Raw Star has an open for the Los Rocas ride down flyback. Basically, same, same trip, trip you did, yeah. twelve fifteen on February twelfth. They have four spots open. They never have these spots open. So if you yes. want an opportunity to do what exactly what Rock Odrick just did, RoyalStarSportFishing.com. You can book right online or give Tracy a call in the Royal Star office. February 12th, perfect time of oh, the year. Man. Middle of the winter. Ideal. Great time to go catch a cow tuna. Great time to go down or to the tropics and defrost yeah. in the wintertime yeah, a little up, bit. Yeah. Great whale wiggling. show down there that time yeah. of year. It's just awesome. That's a that is probably the number one most popular time of the year. I'm shocked they have uh, spots open February 12th. Yeah. Check it out. Okay, the, uh, you know, guys want to want to find out what's going on out there uh, with the Christmas Spectacular. But before we do, that was our catch report today, sponsored in part by Gamakatsu Hooks, Japan's leading fish hook. It sets the standard for quality innovation and strength and durability. Hey, it's long range season, and that Gamakatsu. Nautilus, the Super Nautilus, and all the ring hooks, the Sander J hooks, they're all the top anglers' first choice for tuna and other pelagic species. They have the right design and the durability to help you catch more fish and that fish of a lifetime. Get Gamakatsu Super Nautilus circle hooks at your favorite tackle store. Okay, Ricky, who's next? All right, let's jump back into them. Brian and Wildemar, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Brian, thanks for hanging in there with us. No worries, guys. No worries at all. Morning, Brian. Um, Morning, guys. Uh, for general purposes, Ricky, just go ahead and put your hand on the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, first of all, I just want to give a thank you to uh, a heartfelt thank you to the Mexican government for the opportunity of the past two live broadcasts, Pete. Absolutely. Um, great, great for for us and for fishing. Um, you bet. Once again, uh, a thank you very much for the opening of Guadalupe Island. I mean, really appreciate it. I just kind of want to express that for all the fishermen out there on the air. And also uh, a thank you for opening up the bluefin, um, also to the Mexican government and, and Mexican waters. Uh, just in, just in a test, a test to you guys, Pete, and uh, the Let's Talk Fishing crew, all the good work you guys are doing. And thank you very much. Thanks, Brian. For your uh, thank you, thank you for your commitment to excellence. All right, thanks. Oh, get out of here! Get that buzzer! Get that thing out of here! <laughs> yeah, yeah wait, what? Isn't that what the get out of here? I don't no, know. No. <laughs> well done, Brian. Anyway, well done. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. <laughs> All right, let's jump back into it. Uh, I, we lost his call. I don't know what happened. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. His slip went away. The whole thing. I don't know what happened. Pretty good. Well, All right. Hey, we, hey, they might be the San Diego Raiders soon. You just so be careful. <sighs> Brian, Be careful. Brian, Brian, Brian. Hey, the <laughs> Chargers are done. They're out of here. They're, they're, they're gone. gone huh? well, okay. My opinion. Robert in San Bernardino, you're up next on Let's Talk Cook Up. What's up, Robert? Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guys. It's uh, nice to listen to your show every weekend, so I just wanted to give you guys a big thank you. I was looking for information on the Bay Bass Tournament. I believe it's in January. I want to get my kayak there if they were taking kayaks for that, if you knew. Oh, yeah. Fast Lane Kayaks is sponsoring the kayak division for the San Diego Anglers, the 21st annual San Diego Anglers Open Bay Bass Tournament, Saturday, January 23rd. Uh, lots of prizes. It's a great time. And you can actually, uh, you can uh, where you are uh, in San Bernardino, you can go right online at, uh, I believe it's uh, sdanglers.com, mm -hmm. and you can get an think, application to Diego get right in. Or is it sandiegoanglers.com? You can get go right online and get a uh, sponsorship uh, uh, deal there and, and get in. It. Uh, how much is it, Rick? Uh, I you know we'll, we'll double check for you because I'm not sure either, but I'll, I'll jump on the website and uh, you know yeah. and confirm. For you it, go to yeah. you go to the website and uh, you can sign up right there. It's 140 bucks for there the team, go. and the kayak division is 65 dollars. So that's a two man kayak must enter as a team. But if you're a single kayak, one seat only, it's sixty five dollars. So there you okay, go. Okay, perfect. So uh, SanDiegoAnglers.com, sign up, and it should be a really good time, Robert. Thanks a lot for the call, and Merry Christmas to you. All right, let's jump right back into the phones. This time we're going to talk to Tom, who's calling us from Temecula. Tom, good morning. Thanks for joining us. 
Merry Christmas, guys. Hey, Tom. Hey, what's up, Tom? Hey, Tom. I got a um, Christmas poem here. Uh, I don't think I've written one of these since college or <laughs> high school, or whatever. And so we're going to take a stab at it. Go so here time. we go. Well, Christmas time is here, a time when family and friends come near. This year, the good old days and El Nino were here. What more can I say? There was great fishing for everyone almost every day. With yellow, yellows tuna and marlin and wahoo biting, listening to hookup 1090 was very inviting. Pete and Rockhod, these are the guys who give us great information and make us fishermen wise. So Merry Christmas to all this night, and keep those real drags not too tight. Hey, nice very job. Good. Tom, nice nice job. job. Yeah. Tom, you Mary, see, you remembered job, your bro. high school stuff there. I appreciate the call. Merry Christmas to you. All right. All right. Look, jumping right back into the phones. This time we're going to talk to Kenny. He's calling us from Hawaiian Gardens this morning. Kenny, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Kenny. Hey, morning. Merry Christmas, you guys. Same to you, Kenny. Hey, um, I had a little comment, a little tip for a trout fisherman guy. I was already on the show, but first I want to say thanks to you guys. Uh, I've been listening to you since the Marty days. Uh, I've raised four daughters listening to you guys, and we have a granddaughter this year that's going to be doing the same. So. Wow. That's rad, man. Right just, on. Uh, she is a real blast to fish with. But, hey, for your trout guy, um, I do a lot of trout fishing around here in Orange County and stuff, and uh, – and these trout, they like these baits moving. We use these little rip, lip rippers jigs. It's like a little crappie jig with a, a worm on the end of it, you know. And they, they, they like them moving, you know, rather than just sitting there uh, soaking a bait, you know, and not moving at all. So just want to give that shout out to that guy. So Good tip. Yeah, yeah. the lip rippers, yeah. You, you, you guys you, have you a sell... good uh, day and uh, happy holidays. Hey, thanks a lot. I know you can get thanks, those Kenny. at Turner's Outdoors, man. Do you sell, do you sell trout stuff? We, we have a, a, about a three- or four-foot section. Of, of freshwater stuff and trout stuff because they stock the local lakes right around. Oh, uh, so, okay. Yeah, so yeah, you carry do. those lip rippers? Yeah, we do. I yeah, that's do, yeah. that's a hot bait. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good when, tip. When we were kids, like that was the – kids, I shouldn't say that. When when we would fish a lot of trout, you know, high school and whatnot, like it was just like yellowtail fishing. Like it, it didn't count unless you got it in the plug. Like that was the thing. Like, oh, it <laughs> exactly. didn't count unless you got it in the mini jig. Man, you, you bait guy, that didn't count. You got to catch one on the mini jig. Like mini that was jig. that was the cool way to catch them. Like the little and these are like fancy so. mini jigs, right? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. exactly what they are. Yeah. yeah. You know. All right. Cool Let's stuff. go ahead and jump back into it. You got it, man. How about this time we talked to Rob? He's got us from Carlsbad this morning. Hi, Rob. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Morning, Rob. Oh, did we did lose, lose Rob? Rob? There, yeah, he was on hold for a long time. Sorry, oh, about that, Rob. sorry, Rob. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Rob. That's it, man. All right. Well, how about we jump back in? This time we'll talk to Mario. He's calling from Rancho Cucamonga. Good morning, Mario. Welcome to the show. Hey, Merry Christmas, guys. I got a little jingle for you. It's set to that uh, Christmas song, the most wonderful time of the year. All right. Okay. All right. Here it goes. <clears throat> it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the happy. Happiest season of all. No more lizard fish for Ricky, because the wahoo ain't picky. His new partner is going to score. And if Mark had his way, more white sea bass would play, and the squid would float more and more. It's the hap- happiest season of all. Hurry, stock up on gear. Buy some hooks and some beer. You're going to be short on time. You might want a jig stick and the flat falls go quick. And remember the Power Pro line. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With just 10 bucks in gas, we will all have a blast with the tuna not far from the shore. You will have a good time, half day boats on the nine, catching wahoo and bluefin galore. It's the hap- happiest season of all. Just be ready for war. We will see Albacore. They will chew the paint off of your boat. And the Googans will chase chase Dave Hansen all over the place, fishing (laughs) from anything that can float. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the forecast still showing, El Nino still growing, so be of good cheer. It's the most Wonderful time of the year. Very hey, good, Ryan. Hey. Nice job. Very good, good effort. Nice. Merry Christmas to you. Put a lot of effort into that, and we thank you for that very much. Thanks a lot for the call. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, that's going to be a hard one to follow up, but let's keep jumping right back into the phones. Blair in Fresno, you're up next on Let's Talk Hook Up. Hi, Blair. Yeah, that that is a hard one to follow up. Uh, you're gonna do you just can fine, make the Blair. effort, though. Yeah. you got a good one, I'm Go sure. Go for it, buddy. Uh, I'm going to try. Anyway, 
First of all, I just want to thank you guys for uh, the show. Um, I don't get to listen to you live that much, fishing out of Santa Cruz, but the uh, the archive is wonderful. So we Thanks. really appreciate that. Thank you. That's great. And so Adam, our guy. On the... It is very clean. Here you go. Okay, go. There are two wise men named Pete and Rick. They haste, They host a radio talk show that makes them very slick. We talk about fishing and all those cool things. They even let their callers brag about their great lings. With all of their great knowledge and the suggestion of a broomstick, it may allow all of us to yell out, Hook up! <laughs> Very nice. nice. All Thank right. Good job, Great Blair. Great job, Blair. Hey, thanks a lot. Merry Christmas to you. Appreciate the call this morning from Fresno. And, yeah, we want to thank Adam, our guy on the board there who uh, sets up our archives. As soon as the show's finished, Adam's uh, lickety-split on those archives, putting it up on our website, hookup1090.com, on the show archives. And Adam makes a great effort there, and we sure appreciate Pete, how, that. how far back do your archives go? Wow, we have, I, you know, I don't know where we're currently running there. Maybe Adam's looking at it right now, but uh, several months for sure. Uh, it's all about kind of bandwidth that we get. We have to kind of get to the point where we do eliminate some sometimes. But uh, it's, it's, it's February of 2000. Yeah, we have them back to February. So you can wow. listen uh, almost uh, of last year, 2015. Or 2014. Wow, that's yeah. Good. So that's a year and a half. Or I was trying. Two years. I was trying to explain to one of my friends uh, about the Christmas show. Yeah. And I was thinking he should go back and oh, listen to the archives. Oh, last year is on yeah. the archives. Look okay. Up good. Good. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and try another one, Rick. You got it. I can't believe he's able to get back through, and I'm stoked. So we're going to try it again for Rob in Carlsbad. And Rob, that's some kind of miracle because this is a, not an easy show to get into, <laughs> and I'm stoked that you're able to make it back. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning. I feel real lucky, and I want to thank you guys for the show. Really enjoy it. Thank you very uh, thanks much. Thanks for calling, Rob. Hey, just a quick shout-out to the Royal Star. They're a little like a second family to us, and uh, and they're just awesome. But uh, my question has to do with bait. So uh, I've been really excited the last uh, season or two uh, being able to fish with the small anchovies. It's been a long time. I uh, really enjoy fishing white line and uh, uh, extra skill required to fish the smaller bait. Uh, my, my question has to do, uh, I'm, I'm really weight averse. I really like fly lining. And the only place I'm aware of to, to effectively hook uh, anchovy is collar hook. Is there another way I could be hooking those besides collar hooking them? Mark? Well, yeah, well, that's the main way. And then, you know, you can obviously hook them through the nose, either crosswise through the little clear spot in front of the eyes. With the, you need a small hook for that. Or up through the lower jaw and out through that way uh that would be the main ways and then if you get a little bit bigger anchovy or small sardines uh, you can hard hook them where instead of going through the upper part of the collar like you normally would you go through the lower part kind of come out through the belly you literally go right to his heart which yes obviously it kills him but it also puts them into a frenzy and they swim straight down, but you only get like 15 or 20 seconds. Really? So, I never even heard of that. That's yeah, cool. I had a friend show me about hard hooking huh? sardines for fishing bluefin. Like they're on the corner or they're close to the boat kind of thing? Under, but you, under, the, the, bait, the bait will swim straight down a million miles. A sardine yeah, will, sure. is good for about 30 seconds, huh. and then they're done. Yeah, but but you might get that bite. Oh, yeah, but when, when they're, they're when, underneath when they're the going boat, straight yeah. down, hauling butt at thirty, yep. usually it doesn't take thirty seconds. It, exactly. Wow, good that's tip. Cool. Yeah, that's that's very a good, good tip there, Mark. Wish you we put him on the list. Put him on the list. Yeah, man. that's okay. a three. That's a three star. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. <laughs> hey, when we come back, we got more. Let's talk hookup coming your way. More great questions. More great songs. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 55 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built for ultimate performance on the water. From our next-generation fishing shorts like the Tactical Camo or Stealth Shorts to our AFBlock sun protection shirts like the Fish Ninja and Samurai Sun Hoodie, the entire AFCO clothing lineup is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and designed with functional features to deliver top performance for the demanding angler. Visit www.afco.com to find a dealer near you. This is Rick Jensen with Sport Fishing Financial. By now some of you have already been out fishing with me or even on board as new clients. 
For others out there who couldn't make it during the recent offshore fishing season, now's a great time to see how we can help you. Business owners with 401ks or qualified retirement plans, you know things could be better, and why don't we sit down and see how we can make it better. Business owners that are out there that don't have a plan, I'll walk you through the steps and create the plan that's right for you and your employees. For others that have retirement plans with former employers or personal IRAs, let's put them to work where you know how much risk you're exposed to and what kind of expenses you're being charged. Now's the time to put more focus on the long-term funding of your fishing lifestyle. Rick and I had some great times together out on the water this season, and I know you're going to enjoy meeting him. Managing your investment accounts should be simple and efficient. Give Rick a call at 949 481 1807, or find them on the web at sportfishingfinancial.com. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now 18 stores throughout Southern California and three in San Diego County. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood, Turner's Outdoorsman. To find the location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. My angler H2 Earth. Like the mighty flounder, I will keep one eye on the pole and the other watching for rogue waves. I'll save water by taking shorter showers and enthusiastically celebrate talk like a pirate day. Aye. I will chat up the locals before launching in unfamiliar waters. And I will always, always wear my life jacket. What's your H2 Oath? Tell us at BoatCalifornia.com. The California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways reminds you to wear it, California. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalSTAR. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalSTAR West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalSTAR at fine tackle stores everywhere. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. It's the big Christmas spectacular. I know it's kind of futile reading the phone numbers because it's so tough to get through, but why don't you have you a shot because we love all the great contributions to the show. 858-457-1090. That's our local number. Or toll free, 877-792-1090. And I want to take a minute. Uh, you know, we're very thankful for our sponsors on Let's Talk Hookup. And, uh, very, very thankful to all the sponsors. I'm not going to list them here, but if you hear a sponsor on this show, it, these people are supporting Let's Talk Hookup. They make it possible for us to be here on the Mighty 1090 and all the other things that we do. So please support them. Uh, they're great people. They're fantastic contribution to the show. So thanks to all our great sponsors on Let's Talk Hookup. We couldn't do it without you. Well said. Let's jump right back into the phones because they're getting packed up. We're going to start this one off with Bill, who's calling us from Rancho Penasquitas. Bill, good morning. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. That's a high Hi. ho, ho, ho. I'm a man of a mission <laughs> yeah, this no year. Right. I'll tell you, you had a show a couple of weeks ago that I was really impressed about and you were promoting a device that uh, um, that when you bring up a fish, uh, I like going out for rockfish. Right. And uh, it goes back down and releases them. And I'm telling you, I'm, I, I love going on the boats, but I'm tired of all these fish floating, and I and it's a waste. Yeah. So this year, I want all the listeners out there to try and get the boats to get one of these devices. And also to talk to the people around you, and I tell people if they're gonna if they're gonna just throw it, put it in my bag, and it goes against my count because I hate to see wasted yep. fish. Absolutely, and the sequel we're giving away a sequelizer today. It's a great unit. Rock lease is also a great one. Everybody should have one. Everybody should be responsible, and every boat owner and and and, and sport boat owner should. Be responsible and yeah. not let those. I, I, I have to imagine that one of these days, you know, fish and wildlife is going to require that, just like yeah. you have to have a landing net and, you know, right. whatever they else. They should, yeah. You know, yeah. they should. Because, I mean, it's just like. Yeah. But rather problem. than create another law, let's just do it ourselves. Yeah, everybody should. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I use my kite rod on the release device. Yeah. It works out great. It works out great. Yep. And it's easy. And it's the right thing to and do. It's just so satisfying because yeah. it's always in traffic to watch them just drift away. Plus, it's making better regulations it for is. us. 
because we're yeah. proving that we can release these fish successfully. I want to get back to fishing those deeper. cows in 100 fathoms. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good one. Thanks a lot, Bill. Merry Christmas to you. All right. How about we jump back in, talk to Leslie Collins from Irvine this morning. Good morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, Leslie. Hey. Merry Christmas. Hey, hey I just you. wanted to say 2015 was a great year for fishing. But there was one elusive fish that got away, so I have a little Christmas song about it. Okay. So here we go. Ready. I'm dreaming of a white sea bass, <laughs> just like the one I used to know, where the scales all glisten and you see them hidden far down in the ocean way below. I'm dreaming of a white sea bass with every squid that I throw. Great job. Very yeah, nice. Day. All right, Be Leslie. Oh. And, and may all your sea bass be wise. <laughs> That's a good one. Excellent job, <laughs> Leslie. Job. Thank you. Merry Christmas well, to you. Happy holidays, love, you guys. Love the, the background music, yeah, too. Yeah, cool. Cool. Great. Great. yeah, all right. Appreciate the call this morning. All right. How about we jump back in? This time we're going to talk to David. He's calling from Escondido this morning. Hi, David. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. I appreciate the show, and it's uh, the timing's pretty funny given what you're going to hear, give, uh, uh, given the last caller. Right. But Pete, I have a little song for you. Your group, do you have a note for me to start on? Uh, Anyone you want, buddy. Hey, yeah, you do it. <laughs> Go for it. I was going to tell you it was the wrong note, but it's good. <laughs> Here it goes. I'm dreaming of a Wahoo Christmas, just like the ones on Pete Gray's show, where big fish are biting, it's always exciting to catch more than stocked rainbows, trout that is. I'm also dreaming of a white sea bass, just like those caught by Rock Cod Rick. I know Pete's still trying, but ends up crying, but fishing <laughs> always has its highs and lows. I hope my days will be merry and bright, because with Mark Wish, I'll catch a Wahoo Christmas night. Put a yellow tail or two in it will do. Wow. <laughs> very hey, well, well done. done. Yeah, well very done. Good. Hey, Mary, except for the Pete Gray. Yeah, right. But, you know, <laughs> hey, they love to pick on you, Pete. Line, but really on close. Pete so. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks, yeah. Dave. All right. How about next up, Bruce? Bruce is calling from Temecula this morning. Bruce, thanks for joining us. Hi, Bruce. Thanks for joining hey. us. Hey. Hey, good morning, everybody. And, and Pete, I wanted to say you're thanking all the sponsors, but all of us out here are thanking you because you sure guys, all you, Rick, and everybody put on a fantastic show. Thanks, Thanks very much. That's nice of you to say. Absolutely, Bruce. Well, it's true, and it sure makes life a whole lot happier. Well, we Meanwhile, having, having said that, I have a little little song, very short and to the point, and you'll get the, the picture at the at the end. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a brand new Cabo. It's not Lucas, that is. Very good. All right. And All right. everybody needs to go down there this next year. Cabo is, as, as of course you guys know, having done the show there last week, is far from up and coming. It's there, just waiting for more people to, to uh, enjoy the fishing and, and enjoy the nightlife and enjoy everything else it has to offer. Uh, Toto Santos, Cerritos Beach, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, We've got something special in mind for everybody coming up in the new year. So stand by for that, and let's get to Cabo. All right. Good one, Bruce. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Merry Christmas to you. All right. Well, hey, jumping back in, keeping things rolling, we're going to talk to Steve. He's calling us from San Diego this morning. Hi, Steve. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hi. Merry Christmas, guys. Too, um, I went to one of your events this year, and I really hope that you have them again at a Ford dealership. I got to meet some great guys like uh, Cowboy uh, out there. But my question um, has to do with catching um, our own bait. Is, is it possible that we can go out and catch sardine and anchovy ourselves, and how do we do that? Yeah, and we will be having our four dealers uh, remote live broadcast, four of them at least, uh, this next year, 2016. Uh, San Diego County Ford dealers have been very generous and very supportive of Let's Talk Hook Up, and 2016 is no exception. So right. we'll be right back there with the Ford dealers, and uh, want to thank our great friends at the uh, San Diego County Ford dealers for helping us out here on Let's Talk Hookups, for sure. What about catching your own bait? 
Catching your own anchovies is going to be a little challenge. And catching sardines, you know, you can catch them on a bait rig sometime, the real small white sabikis. Sometimes you can just cut the uh, little feathers off, just fish with a gold hook only. But, man, i got to tell you, this is a whole lot easier to go up the bait barge and give them a few bucks and get a few <laughs> swings and go fishing, you know. Yeah, when you have the, the number of great bait haulers we have here in Southern California, from the Everingham Brothers here in San Diego and Mission Bay, uh, all the way up Dana Point, Oceanside, up in your area there, uh, San Pedro and and and, and yeah, Huntington Harbor. We're, we're stuff. so I mean, blessed. Yeah, we're so lucky for sure. Hey, so that's the best thing, uh, you know, forty dollar bill or a twenty five dollar bill, and uh, that's fishing. your best way to catch bait right yep. there. No Thanks a lot it. for the call. Merry Christmas to you. All right. How about next up? We talk to Christopher calling from San Diego. Hey, Christopher, welcome to the show. Hey, Merry Christmas, guys. How are you all doing? Fantastic. Great, Christopher. Good morning. Great. And then, guys, I'm starting off a new hobby next year, deep sea fishing. But as an idiot and a novice, I need to know where to go, who to see, and what to buy. Give me some tips. Well, I would say the best thing starting out would probably be to start with a half-day trip. That's like the general answer because it's very easy, it's inexpensive, and it's a great start to what we do. And the best thing for you being in San Diego is find any of the great landing. C4 Sport Fishing does a great job. Point Loma Sport Fishing, we're giving away this pass on the Daily Double. Fisherman's Landing as a Dolphin. There's a lot of great opportunities to go half-day fishing. Um, it's it's inexpensive. It's easy. You'll you'll get to know what you like. You can rent gear, and then you can yeah. You don't have to go buy gear. You no. just rent the gear, figure out what you want, and then you start graduating to a three quarter day trip, an overnight trip, and next thing you know, you're going to be uh, you'll be signing uh, up with Ricky for yeah. that. Uh, you, you'll be long, long range, yeah, and 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 you'll be going into the tackle the local tackle stores and uh, buying the gear that fits your style. That's the best thing to do. Good suggestion, Rick. There you go. Half day trips. There you go. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Adam in San Diego, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Adam, good morning. Good morning, Adam. Hey, good good morning. I really uh, love the show, guys. I'd like to say it's just really a professional operation. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got to catch most of the, I have to catch most of the, the shows on the uh, the iPad app with my headphones open. My wife here that she says it looks like you're sounding like speaking another language. <laughs> but, uh, after, after a couple of years, I think I can. Uh, we sort of understand it, so I appreciate it. But oh, yeah. I got a little up home for you this morning. All right. Well, the, uh, the sea dog that stole, stole Christmas. Every fisher in Whoville loved fishing a lot, but the sea dog that lived on the South Buoy did not. That dog hated fishing. The whole fishing season, he'd bark and he'd grunt. No one quite knows the reason. Then that old sea dog, he had an idea. That dog had an evil, awful idea. He'd stop them from fishing. He'd tear up their hoops. He'd snatch the sardines from their double dropper loops. And then the next morning, as the dog lay asleep near the bay, he was awakened by the fleet steaming into the gray. He hadn't stopped fishing at all. They still came with high hopes and dreams. They still fished just the same. Then something changed in that dog as he took a needle down his throat. And even he, the old sea dog, chased Yellowtail into the boat. Wow, hey, that's hey, pretty nice good. Job. Yeah, little, very little Grinch scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, very, very, there. very well, good, Adam. well presented and uh, well done, Adam. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks a lot for the call. And I hate sea lions too. Oh, yeah, we all. Oh, did, did you I, say I, that? My bad. My bad. Yeah, I didn't, oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I know. It just came out. That's I think my it's bad. kind of a mutual <laughs> deal. You know. <laughs> very good job. Hey, let's jump in. Take another one. This time we're going to talk to John. He's calling from San Diego this morning. Hi, John. Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guys. Wanted to ask Mark at the end of the day. How do you recommend people uh, clean their bait tank so it doesn't mess up the bait for the next time you put bait in there? That's a good question. Yeah, that is a good question, and and it's really quite simple. I mean, most of the time when you're running in, if you dumped your bait when you were, you know, getting close to the harbor mouth, just let the pump keep running and flush it out with salt water. Do not use any kind of chemicals when you're scrubbing down your boat. It, it doesn't matter if, you you know, the the – fresh water and it stays damp in there and you grow a little green moss in there you know I, I i've always encouraged that in my tanks you know it just feels like they're cured out a little more but <laughs> you can just flush them out with salt water you can rinse them with fresh water if you like it doesn't really matter that much but do not put no any chemicals salt. in there yeah That's and the and here's thing. the other thing i learned from mark at, uh, mark bowman at uh, monsoon yacht service who does <laughs> such a great job um the um, the one the chemical the one chemical or, or wash down that a lot of people like to use is simple green. Simple green strips all of your wax off the boat, yep. so don't yeah. use it. Right? 
It, yeah, it's, it's, it's not hard. a good thing. I didn't know that. It's not a good thing. I mean, it's a nice thing for the environment. Yeah. But if you want, if you have a nice, expensive wax job, or you spend a lot of times on the wax, it takes the wax right off. Yeah. The, the the stuff that's specifically oriented toward marine is, you know, it's designed to clean, but not take the wax off. Yes. Somewhere. So you want to buy a marine style boat so, soap, right? Yep. Which is biodegradable, of course, because you have to have the biodegradable. But that's what you want because it won't take the wax off. Yep. Yeah. That's all, man. All right. I didn't know that. There you go. Thanks a lot for the phone call. Good good idea there. Cleaning your bait tank. You want to be uh, specific on that for sure. Jonathan in L.A., you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, Jonathan. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey. Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? Great. Morning, Jonathan. I had a question about my son just turned 13, and I've been taking him out on my buddy's boat. And we're doing some fishing out of San Monica Bay. And I uh, just want to know when would be a good time or what boat you would suggest to take him on for, like, a tuna trip, maybe like a three-quarter, maybe even the overnight. I think he could handle. Well, out of out of Santa Monica or Long Beach? Or no, 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 no. I know down down out of there. I'm willing to drive down to San Diego. I'm willing to like drive. Like a, summer, a summertime trip, trip right? I got, I got a definite yeah. one that I would or do. Or springtime or, you know, I'll take him out of spring Yeah. <clears throat> to go fishing. If you we'll want to try and, you know. If you want to try and catch a tuna on a short range trip, this is what I would do. I would wait until the Shimano Let's Talk Hookup on the Water Seminar schedule comes out, and I would take him on the three quarter day trip on the San Diego at a C4 Sport Fishing. Not that there's not a ton of great boats out there, that's just one of many, but the they have an undeniable amount of success. The crew does a really good job. It's it's almost long range style on a three quarter day trip. But with that success, you know, San Diego is full all the time for very good reasons. And it's a big boat, so they handle a full load, no problem. But those three-quarter day trips that are the Let's Talk Hookup on the Water seminars have a lighter load, but it's the exact same price, and they're always in a prime time time of year. So I'm not even saying that in means of promoting the Let's Talk Hookup part of it, more an opportunity to get on one of the highest end boats for the same amount of money, but fish with a lighter load than yes. than you would normally have. And all the good gear. Yeah, and all exactly. the gear. Yeah. You get to try out all the gear. And in addition to that, I think that's a great call too. Is always look at a limited load trip Agreed. when you're taking your fi- kid fishing. Yep. Open Absolutely. party trip, not the thing to do with your kid getting them int- into fishing. But limited load trips, and there's several of the vessels, whether it be a uh, uh, a limited old one day, or a day and a half trip, uh, st- you know, yeah. that's a good call. And if your son's already been fishing with, you know, you on buddy's boats and things like that, he, he you already know he's going to be fine on a longer trip, man. I, I'm with you. I'd say go for it. All right. Thanks a lot for the call. Merry Christmas to you. All right. How about next up we talk to Wayne, calling us from Point Loma. Good morning, Wayne. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Merry Christmas, Pete, Rick, and Mark. How are you today? Good, Wayne. We're great. Thanks. Listen, I'd like to uh, acknowledge one of your uh, great sponsors, and uh, I know a listener of your show, of course, Bart Hall. I'd like to say Merry Christmas to Bart Hall, too, and remind Bart that uh, Christmas is the season of giving, and I'd like to offer him the opportunity to give me not one, but two martinis at the Fred Hall Show this spring, since his team lost to my team twice this season. Oh, here we go. See? So, Bart, I know you're out there. Merry Christmas. Oh, okay. Thanks, Wayne. All right. Let's try and sneak in one more quick one there, Rick. You got it. How about the last one wrapping us up is going to be Harry from Chula Vista. Good morning, Harry. Morning. I just have a little uh, prose poetry. We teach the kids how to be stewards of fishing, to catch and release, and only take what we will eat. We say goodbye to Marty Milner. We miss you and will always think of you. And we pay tribute to the Pools, the La Prestes, and the Halls. God bless you all and Merry Christmas. Hey, Thanks, nice Harry. Job, Harry. Nice way to wrap it up. Way to go. Hey, Appreciate we, that. When we come back, we got a whole lot of stuff to give away. You stay tuned. Tons of great stuff. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. No matter the fishing conditions, count on the Seaguar family of fluorocarbon leader material to help you catch more fish. Fluoro Premier has a smaller diameter with the highest break strength. Plus, it is super soft. When bites are tough, tie on Fluoro Premier. Blue Label is tough as nails with incredible abrasion resistance and impact strength. And new Pink Label is the choice for tough light conditions, giving you a little more visibility for better line control. Pick up a spool of Seaguar at your favorite tackle dealer. 
or visit Seaguard.com. I'm very excited to share my experience with the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 touchscreen chart plotter and sonar unit I just installed on my boat. I've been a Simrad electronics fan for many years and always enjoyed the ease of use and incredible technology. Last year, I installed the new 4G broadband radar and could not believe the difference. So this year, I upgraded to the new NSS Evo 2, and it's amazing. With an easy-to-use tablet-style interface that's fresh but familiar, the Simrad NSS Evo 2 combines a multi-touch screen with push-to-select rotary dial for precision control and speedy response. The core of any marine electronic for me is how it marks fish. And the new NSS Evo 2 with built-in sonar hub sounder technology, including chirp and structure scan, can't be beat. Now, the true test is whether I need to pick up the manual to figure it out. And guess what? The new Simrad gear is so easy, I didn't need it. There's a lot more to the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 system I'd like to tell you, but best to just go to your local Simrad dealer and check it out. Or see simrad-yachting.com for for more details. Your hook is one of the most important parts of your fishing tackle, and that is why you should use the hook that sets the standard for quality and innovation. Gamakatsu, as Japan's leading hook manufacturer and growing at an amazing pace, Gamakatsu is responsible for introducing a unique tempering process to give Gamakatsu hooks superior strength and durability. Plus, the conically needle-honed points stay sharp. Gamakatsu offers a hook for every fishing situation, including the finest one-piece ringed hooks. Likewise, standard and heavy-duty live bait hooks, and the popular Nautilus Circle Hooks. Get Gamakatsu hooks at your favorite tackle store and stay connected to that fish of a lifetime. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing, and it's all right by fishermen for fishermen 1717 Quivera Road just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay book online at seaforthlanding.com XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito Baja California The best NFL coverage is right here Hot inside the pylon for a touchdown San Diego sports leader the mighty 1090 Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Man, so much yeah, stuff. Yeah, we had so to roll it through there with boy, the judges, all, all, all their votes and everything. So much Something input else. for such little time. Oh, yeah, and yeah, and thanks to everybody. Everybody's a winner. Everybody, thank you so much for participating at our Christmas Spectacular here with Captain Mark Wish. And go ahead, Rick. Everybody let's, did a great let's job. Let's find out. Firing down the line. First, the three-quarter day passes at a Dana War Sport Fishing is going to Adam in San Diego. Three Cousins Lure Packs, including the Tuna Clones and the Marlin Jigs, are going to Bob in Santee, Dick in San Diego, Dave in Anza. Congratulations for that. The half-day passes for two aboard the Daily Double at a Point Loma Sport Fishing going to Christopher in San Diego. Three-quarter day trip aboard the San Diego at a C4 Sport Fishing going to Harry in Chula Vista. The AFTCO Alejo Spelled and AFTCO Short Pump Long Range Gloves is going to Vicky. Uh, the, in Atwood. Atwood, thank you. Um, the Rapala Williamson Lure Package, and for Pete, the Rapala Williamson Package is going to Dave <laughs> and Escondido. A brand new pair of Maui Jim sunglasses, the World Cup frame, and that Marlin color with a neutral gray lens is going to Leslie in Irvine. Leslie, you're going to love those Maui Jims. The Sequelizer Barrel Trauma Release Tool, courtesy of Craig up at NOAA, is going to Bill from Rancho Penasquitos. A 12-pack of the Promar Deception Jigs, again, three colors, six sizes, is Brian and Wildemar. Even though I tried to throw you out for that commitment to excellence, they, uh, <laughs> the rest of the guys put you back in. Uh, the, uh, the couple of real big prizes here. Cousins, 80L Rod, beautiful rod, thanks to Cousins Tackle. And I'm telling you, you are going to love this. Mario and Rancho Cucamonga, it's a very fine rod. Congratulations, Mario. Now, the grand winner of a brand new Shimano Torium 16 HGA and an 8-foot medium Terramar rod is going to Matt in La Mesa. Matt, great oh, job. Oh, baby, we got a winner. 
<laughs> All right. All right. Well Congratulations. Done. And th- again, thank you to everybody out there for the great efforts. And to those that couldn't get through, we apologize for that. But uh, thanks for all the efforts. And Mark Wish, uh, thank you for all the great things, yeah. the great oh, knowledge man. you oh. deliver here every Saturday on Let's Talk Hookup. We're very grateful. And it's 20, 20 plus years. And let's hope we can do it for another 20. I'm hoping so. This yeah. is so much fun. Everybody did such a fantastic job this year. Great. Yeah. And you thanks, guys just got with it, man. Thanks to our panel of judges headed by guys. Ryan Christensen and our, our buddy Adam on the board there. Thanks to those guys out there and all the great panel. And thanks again to all of you. Merry Christmas. We'll be back tomorrow morning, 7 and 9 a.m. Mr. Bill Barnet, the surf fishing guy, is going to be here tomorrow morning, 7 and 9 a.m. right back here on the Mighty 1090. We'll see you then.